we, we talked about how her alignment, her voter alignment, is probably most with Doug Ford. Yeah. What role do you think she could play if, if Doug Ford is, as we're reporting, the leader of this party and, and you know, she would be of some benefit? Or? Well, in, in the Ottawa debate, he said that uh, Tanya Granick Allen will play an important role in his government. So oh. clearly he's not uh, saying that she shouldn't run or anything like yeah. that. And he was the most friendly with her uh, on the debate stage. She was also with him. They saw eye to eye on a lot of things. She was also running in a large part against the establishment of the party, right. saying that the grassroots weren't being listened to, that the nominations, the contested ones needed to be uh, rerun and Doug Ford was always saying that he agreed so it, those two were very closely aligned during this uh, leadership race and we have seen the importance of the social conservative contingent of the conservative party uh, federally and in the PCs as well yep. that they were very uh, they played an important role in Andrew Shear's victory in the federal conservative leadership race and once we see the full results we'll see how well she did but it's easy, it's, it's fair to say that she probably played an important role in Doug Ford's win. So let's talk a little bit about social conservatism as it relates to abortion because it's something Thing that both Tanny Granick Allen and Doug Ford talked about. Uh, can Doug Ford keep talking about abortion in a general election, or does that just sort of go away? This should not be an election issue uh, for the PCs. I, I really see it as similar to bringing up, you know, 100,000 job cuts. Like, this is exactly the type of issue that does not need to be a factor in the in the general election. I think ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, Tanya Granick allen and Doug Ford align more on an anti-establishment sentiment. Uh, and that, if anything, should be what the PCs are, are, are going for, is tapping into that uh, dissatisfaction that people have with the current government and, and going hard on that, not these social issues. No. Uh, that can be very, very divisive. Did, did Patrick Brown do that, though? Did he not talk about social conservatism more during the leadership race, became leader, and then it just sort of, yeah. Which so, was one of the complaints that uh, the supporters yeah. of Tanya Granick Allen had. So that that's sort of par for the course to some extent. You definitely yeah. see people swing harder to the the right during a during a leadership race to try. Because they're talking to a different group of votes. people. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. What what do you think? A total landmine for for anyone. So so they're they're not going to go there. No. They're not going to go there. The question is, you know, will uh, the the social conservatives uh, be uh, you know frustrated that this is not an issue yes. as part of the general and and not vote? But I, as I said, I think they're highly motivated to get rid of uh, well, to get rid of win. And, and given that 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 issue doesn't get much traction federally, frankly, I don't know how much traction it would get provincially either, but we'll see.